what has been causing buzz around is this new thing called Huduma. Huduma is a new platform. Uh, they, based on the two experiences, you had the budget information issues, you had the election observation stuff. We've come together again, same team, so I'm not usually into our uh, heroes uh, and the United Nations. The idea is to use that in everyday life. How do we use the same platforms and open data and information sharing and crowdsourcing in actually dealing with everyday service delivery issues of citizens? Um, and that was what people are grappling with. How are you able to sort of link citizens with government and government with citizens in a, in a space of conversation and having to be able to visualize it on the web? The categories that were interesting from our baseline was education, health, and water. Uh, the other category was governance, which is how those decisions are arrived at, and infrastructure is how you get to those three categories. So that was, that was quite interesting in the conversation with citizens. Uh, the idea again is use simple technology and media based tools to curate and aggregate data, including concerns, of course, but suggestions as a means to hold government accountable. It's about demands, so simply finding a way to tap in and pull in uh, citizens concerns and voices in an unstructured way. That has become very key. So having to pull that in and then layer that on top of existing government data. So if government says we built a school, then you have a citizen's voice of say, but we did not want this school. Our interest was water. We do not have it. So I think that is that is really the conversation we and in most cases that that's what we we saw in the in the budget tracking tool. There's a lot of that, that you build a bowl, you sunk a bowl near the lake. Mm, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Seriously, that is what we were seeing. So we probably would have needed a water to purify. But those are the conversations that seem to be non-existent and not visible or audible. And that is why we think this platform becomes very interesting. We're working on visualizations with the United Nations to see how that feeds into the NDG issues. If if you if there's no bad attendant, you think it's a maternal health issue, you think you can codify that and, and put a an aside and number to that. Another interesting bit is those are the visualizations that we are working on, simply being able to aggregate that, uh, visualizing it in very simple ways so that uh, you can actually see the categories, uh, visualizing the person and map and modify it. Uh, which are in the instance, having a budget layer that can be able to actually connect to an existing project so you actually see all the contextual information but also the money around it and the citizen feedback and the aggregation, simply scoring. Scoring is responsive and responsive ways and very rudimentary indicators based on the citizen feedback. Uh, the other bit of course is uh, being able to trail the conversations that has not been there. So how are you able to tie in a conversation around a project or an issue, um, calculating and all that. The other part is how are you able to bring in the government? And that is what we think we've been able to do in this one. Because the government has said we need a way to respond to citizens. And what we've been able to do is actually bring the government to accept that they are going to use this platform to respond. So this has effectively become sort of an e-governance, an, an official e-governance platform. Uh, so that, that is simply a dashboard that Kip is the innovation guy, so he's, he's been working with these guys just to tweak it to, to ask them what is it that you need visualized or not with the dashboard. Uh, and those are stuff that has, has, has actually been coming up. So simply a ranking, ranking of who's performing, who's not performing, which projects are not being responded to, which are being responded to, layer that with budget information, layer that with, uh, uh, layer that with population information and including the respondent and the respondent. Uh, same, I will not go to how that works. I think it's, it's self-explanatory in that. And the only bit that is here is simply we are working a lot with, uh, with algorithms in a way that we are able to tag and pull out information. So uh, ideally, <laughs> What's the link of the website? It's, it's actually being developed online, so it's, it's, it's a way to do it. So idea is an SMS just comes the way it comes, it's, it's passed through the, through the platform, 
from that big SMS I am in Bagadi Hospital, I did not find ETCTC. We are only interested in Bagadi, which provides location, hospital, means is a theme, bed is, is an element of a hospital, bath is an element of a hospital, nurse is an element of a hospital. So that enables the, the, the code to be able to pass that information and simply channel it and send it to the theme and to the responsible person based on location. And then that is visualized on the dashboard and visualized on the web at the same time. And SMS feedback message goes back to the citizen. The conversation continues. NGOs are trying saying they are going to subscribe to alerts. Media are saying they are going to do the same. Uh, I'll jump to that, but talk about this because this is where we're interested. The Kenya Parliament, the Kenya Parliament Reform Caucus is part of this now. We sort of have a breakfast meeting every month when they're getting the, the data and also helping us build that. The Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, which is the data provider for government, is in conversation. We, they are actually part of this. We have almost everything, census data, so it's just for us to plug that in there. The Task Force on Revolution, <coughs> implementing the new constitution, has adopted this by letter of the word in the new constitutional dispensation, so this is by the fact of the next platform to be used. The Union Living Campaign has used it, the World Bank is part of this, the Global Fund wants to use this to uh, track their money. They lost about 10 billion cash mm -hmm. 10 billion cash yes. Billion by any currency is a lot of money. <laughs> so it's Zimbabwe. Yeah, Zimbabwe. No, not Zimbabwe. Oh, okay. uh, then we have requests. <laughs> we have requests already simply by Word of mouth, we've had official requests from government of Nigeria, Rwanda, Uganda, Mozambique, Ethiopia, and the state of India for that and the partnership. Um, so for us, I think, thanks for listening, but that is the idea that we'll be having in